Greetings friend, I will show you how to solve this puzzle all around by Yoshi Baroshi by using set equivalence theory. Click on the link below if you want to try this puzzle yourself and with that, it's solving time. Okay, the reason I'm using set on this puzzle is because I see the fist of Mephel ring. And you're like, what are you talking about? What is the fist of Mephel ring Timberlake? Hopefully, if you've seen some of my previous videos, uh, you've seen me talk about this. And what it refers to here, I'll kind of get the little setup going for you, is, okay, we're looking at these four sets of digits one through nine, right? The columns three and seven and rows three and seven. And you'll notice all around here, all these digits are filled in. Whenever I see all these digits filled in, I'm thinking this is the Fistenfell ring. And so with set equivalence theory, if you've seen my previous videos, the idea is to match uh, equivalent sets of the digits one through nine, uh, the orange set with a purple set. And so what we match these digits, uh, these 16 that go around the uh, center block here with, well, we match them with these outside blocks, blocks ones, three, seven, and nine. Okay, so, because these four blocks also contain the digits one through nine, right? And they're four sets. Okay. Now, what we have to remember here is we're going to get rid of these overlapping cells, right? Get rid of those cells here. where the purple and the orange overlap. And then, we gotta remember, since we did one row and one column, we actually have to add in these back into our orange sets. The reason being is that we count it twice, right? But we only took away one with the purple. And so now you'll notice there's 16 purple squares and there's 16 orange squares. And by using set equivalence theory, what I just showed you and doing the canceling out, these, the same digits have to be in these purple that are in these orange. And now all these orange are filled out, which is kind of nice. Uh, now we also need to take out any of the, the digits that match. So you see there's a seven right here, you can match with a seven right there, right? So we already know this purple seven has got to be can be is right here in this orange. Same thing with the five right here, can be matched to this five. This six right here can be matched to this six, and then this four right here can be matched to this four. And what you probably notice too is like Timberlake, well, yeah, I see the fist of ring, but you have so many digits in here. I mean, a one, two, three, seven, five, seven, eight, nine. Um, is, will this still apply? And the answer is yes, we can still apply this. Normally you'd only want three to five of the same digits. You only want like one, two, three, five, or, you know, five, seven, eight, nine. We don't have that, uh, but we can still apply set. And it's because of the way these digits are arranged and what uh, the digits we have out here in ourselves. So let's match this up, all right? So we have, you know, I can tell we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve digits in the orange, and we have twelve, three, six, nine, twelve unknowns in the purple. So set will work. Um, and like I said, so one, two, three, five, seven, eight, nine is what we're going to put into all of these outside cells. And while I'm doing this, you can try the puzzle traditionally, and I encourage you to do that. It is not super difficult of a puzzle. It, most people rated uh, two out of five stars for uh, difficulty on CTC Discord server. However, I wanted to show you kind of a neat way of doing this using set. So one, two, three, five, seven, eight, nine. 
Um, and it's, it can be a little tedious uh, doing it the other method too, because uh, you do have to do quite a bit of markings on the outside to kind of figure out these cells. And this is the way to set up. So I think Yoshi said he put quite a bit of time into this puzzle uh, to get it to set right. And I think it was definitely worth it. So thank you, Yoshi, for doing this. All right. So here we go. So you can see now I removed all the digits and you're probably looking at this going, well, what, there's a whole lot of digits we have up here. How is this going to help us solve? Well, let's start, start working into the, the puzzle here, right? So first and foremost, where can, uh, we're going to do a little bit more marking than what I normally do here. So let's look at these ones, right? So you got a one, uh, can only be in two spots in here, okay? The fives, you got a five and a five, so those fives are going to be in two spots right there. And then the fours, okay, four, four, and a four coming across. We can actually solve for a four right there. There you go, there's our first digit. Sixes, there's two sixes in rows four and six, so those spots have got to be a six, okay? And then you look for the twos. Where can the twos be? It can be in these two spots right there. Okay, so we're able to mark a four right there. So you know, y'all probably notice a five coming across and the five coming down column six. There's only one spot left for a five right there. So marking that five, there's only one spot for a five here. Then we can solve for this two. We can solve for this one, and we can solve for that nine. So that's a kind of a pretty quick uh, able ability to solve right there. And now with these fours and fives, they kind of eliminated some of the digits on the bottom row there. These sixes coming down, you'll notice that the sixes are limited to these two spots, so I'll make a mark right there. Um, also of note here, the six and this six, where can a six be here in column nine, or excuse me, block nine? And you know, you know because of set, it can't be in any of these two spots, so this actually has to be your six. And then you see how the fives in these two spots, this has to be your five. So using set, we're able to make this solve the six pretty easily. And so what's remaining now in this column? It'd be a four and an eight. So we can do four and eight here. And then you can eliminate all the eights and all the fours remaining in this block. Cool. All right. So now with the five, 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 we can actually solve this for a five and then work your way up here two spots for a five up in block three. So five, 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 what else can we solve? Seven and seven, well, there's only one spot left for a seven. We can mark that right there. And so now what's remaining right here, you're looking at a three and a, three and a four. So we can make, this is a three, four naked pair right there. Okay, pretty cool. Um, now we can also look at uh, right here is where can the fours be in block three? See how there's a four and five here and it's a four and a five coming up and these can't be fours. So this is actually, this four five is a hidden pair of fours and fives. And so now we can look down and finish block nine here. So we got one, two, so we're missing a three and a nine. So we can mark three and a nine. Since there's three nine right here, you can get rid of all these threes and nines. And what you'll notice you have left is a one, two, eight, uh, naked triple. Okay? So set is helping us with this puzzle. All right. Six, sixes. And now I see how these sixes are a pointing pair. And we've got the four and eight up here. Where can a six be here in block seven? Well, it can't be here or here because it's set. It has to be right there. Nice. And then sixes are going to be limited. And so now let's look at a seven. Like a seven can't be in these two spots. And now a seven can't be here. So this has to be a seven. Nice. And so we've solved seven there. We got two spots for seven here. I'll make that mark real quick. One, two, three, four, five. So we're looking at six, uh, eight, nine. I won't make the rest of those marks just yet. So I want to show you kind of a cool way of doing this set. So let's look right here, rows four and six, one and a one. We know the sixes have to be there, but so do the ones. So this is now 
uh, hidden pair, ones and sixes, got the threes and fours. So what's left up here? Eight and nine. And so that's going to be uh, a naked pair, eight and nine. And so this is an eight and nine. This has to be two or three. You'll see there's a lot of pairs in this puzzle when you're doing the solving. And so now we got the twos and threes here. Where can a four go in block six? Well, it has to be right there, right? And since that's a four, now we can solve this for a nine. And we're making more progress with our puzzle. Nice. All right. And so we got the four, we got the nine, four, 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 five there. Let's focus on column three right here, right? What do we need? We need a three, four, and eight. Well, here's your four and an eight. This has to be a three. And since this is a three, that's a nine, that's three. Okay, so we're able to solve that pretty quick. Now, where can a nine go in block eight? It has to be right there. Awesome. And then what we have left? Uh, six, seven, and eight. Here's your seven and eight. So that has to be your six. And we can mark this as a seven and eight. By marking it by a seven and eight, we can get rid of this eight here and get rid of that seven there. It makes it a one, two pair cutting across. And then what do you have up here? We're looking for a two and a nine. So we can mark these cells with two and a nine. And then we can look uh, up here. Remember we had three, four, eight, three. So this is going to be a four and an eight. Since this is a four and an eight, we can get rid of the rest of these eights over here and kind of eliminating that part of the puzzle. Uh, love it. All right. So the set's working really well for us. Threes and fours, fours and eights, fours and eights, fours and fives. Okay, what else do we can we solve right here? Let's focus on this column right here. So one, two, three, four, five. So we're missing a six, seven, and eight. Here's a seven, and here's a six. This has to be an eight. So that's your seven, there's your eight right there, and then this can be a six. And then the seven's the only place left in block two for sevens, right there, and then we can solve this for a one. All right, so far we're doing great with sets. And then so we solve this for an eight, that's a four, that's an eight right there. Here's your five, here's your four. Okay, one, three, nine, make a triple. So we know we can solve this for an eight. Okay. And look across here, we're missing a six and a nine. So we can put that naked pair six and a nine and we can get rid of all these nines because they can't be up here anymore, right? And we can actually solve that for a five because that's the only place left for a five in block one. Okay, you look down here, you see a one, two and a one, two, this has to be a seven. One, two, one, two, this has to be an eight. All right, and now you're looking and we can remove um, all the coloring and you get back and you see this grid and now you're looking like oh where do I go with this grid you know what can this be and there's two ways to move forward with this solve when I solved this traditionally the method I saw was right here all right and so that is an XY wing so if this is your pivot and these are your pinchers this is an X, Y wing. So if this is a two, that has to be a one. If this is a three, that has to be a one. And so any cell that sees both of these orange can take away one. So you can take away the one right there, solve that for a two, and move on with the puzzle. But if you also look at this grid, you may notice something very peculiar about it. And that is how many of these cells with cannons filled in uh, are bi-value cells. And they all are except for one cell right here. Row one, column nine has three. This is called, this situation is called by value universal grade plus one, bug plus one. And what this means is we, once you solve this cell, this whole puzzle will turn into na uh, naked singles. And so how do you solve this cell? And it's pretty easy. Uh, what you do is you look for the digit that is contained three times. Whatever did it, whatever can it's contained three times, you can solve the cell with three digits in it. So it's a three, right? There's a three threes in this column, three threes in this row, and three threes in this block. We know the three is what can solve this. Um, it only works in the puzzle has unique solution. 
And if you're like, hey, I don't really want to solve this bug plus one, do the X, Y wing and try that method. But I'm going to show you right here. By doing this method, you'll notice we have nothing but naked singles remaining. Yoshi, I saw this puzzle in CTT Discord. I had to try it out. Uh, I wanted to apply a set to it because I saw it looked like a fist and fall ring. And it looked beautiful. So check out these other puzzles from my channel. One will be a set puzzle. One will be a Yoshi Baroshi puzzle. Thank you, Yoshi. Let me feature your puzzle on my channel. Don't forget to buy me a coffee link. Thank you so much for watching.